People of Earth, welcome to Rentrek. We are back. I am your host, Jimmy the Saint, and on the camera, as always, is our good buddy. May the force be with you. John Simmons, scale modeler, Star Wars model maker. Entrepreneur, really. Entrepreneur. Yeah. Entrepreneur. I was going to say extraordinaire. Bloody nice guy. Yep. Yep. <laughs> we are back. Sorry we've been away for a while. Life gets in the way, but. We have an unboxing for you today, oh, an unbox and an unpack it. And there's some special stuff in it, John. I'm very excited because there's two figures in here I've been trying to get hold of for a long, long, long time. Nice. I'll just say one thing to get you excited. Resistance is futile. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> let's resist. So, um, John, pick your poison. Which one do we open first? Uh, well, James, you know, I'm really into corners. Yes, you and, are. And you can see the one on your right has got no corners. So the box? Correct. So you want boxy boxy? Corners. Boxy boxy. So well, waste I could have you <laughs> <laughs> got excited. Um, now I paid. So rich you are. This is crazy, right? I paid twenty pounds for all of this together. Five fifteen. Right. Five fifteen. Mm. Okay. Mm. Now is that including postage? Uh, a couple of quid. A couple of quid. Mm. Um, but bear that in mind when we see what we've got. Okay. Will you bear it in mind? I'm bearing. Unbearable. I'm bearing up. It's unbearable. The, uh, Just seeing the, uh, the queen in the background looking over you. A ghosty aperture. <laughs> Why can't I groin it? Oh. <clears throat> this is the best bit of watching unboxing. The yeah, the opening. Watching you address and certain <laughs> being cut. Nice! Nice unboxing! Now, it's a nice box. Hence so, the box. And you know we like a nice box. I do. It's a lovely box. I don't know what it was. And nice newspaper, look. Put cigars in it. It's not the sun or anything. Um, so, here we Smell go. Smell test. Paper. Cat. First things first. I could have been royally screwed over here. I could have been, I could have been effed around. But let's see. Uh, oh, okay, okay, okay. So I know what <coughs> these are. Right. These are mini figs. What do you mean mini figs? Borg. Mini figs. Ah, like micro machines. Like, I don't know why anyone would want them, okay. machines. Right. But, they are kind of cool. Now, I didn't get this package for these. They came with as, a, as an extra. Almost like um, rubbery trick sweets. But that's pretty cool. You've got Borg Queen there. Yeah. And then random Borgs. But that's still pretty cool. But. And a bandola. But. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yes. Stone Look Cold at that. Steve Austin. But Stone Cold. Borg, seven of nine, pre having her implants removed. Still sexy. Oh. Easily worth eight quid on her own. Boom. Easily. Boom. I paid five quid for this box. Remember that. I'm remembering. Um, and I want to save one till last. So, okay. Another figure, Borg, with its extra arm. Didn't you used to have that? I've got two of them down there. No, no, no as a kid. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jesus, look how stiff that is. He's stiff. All the pipes, because these pipes get lost. Mm -hmm. um, if you look at one, and they are, and both arms. That's, that's that's excellent news. Again, for sale, I could easily get maybe four quid, five quid for that. Now. Why am I so massive? The pièce de résistance, John. This figure I've been chasing for some time. Okay. And to get her would probably cost, well, 20 quid boxed. So you could easily get a tenner for her, I reckon. Bear in mind, five quid. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, oh! She's a wobbly one. The Borg from the Queen. Film. Is that from the film? Yep. So I, do First contact. I do know my trick. Yeah, and she was in Voyager. And Is she wobbly? Because that's how she gets inserted into her... Oh, shit off. Shit oh, off. Look at that. She's got a spine. You can take her apart. Damn, slow John. down. I mean, the Queen's thrilled. John, you can take her apart. Oh, I'm so hard right now. That is amazing. And then in she slots into her neck. And then you click into place. So stiff. Can't even move it, it's that stiff. <laughs> too weak, too excited. Is it your favourite figure? It's up there. Is it? I've been chasing her for a while. I must say, it's a good feature. As I what say. What year are we talking for that, James? 
When did first contact? Slow down. When did first contact come out? Um, I know Generations came out when I was at sixth form, so I would have been about 99? seventeen. It would be ninety-nine. Yeah, ninety-nine, something like that. Thirty minutes era. But look at that for five pounds. So you have got yourself a steal. Shame you broke the rubber band. At, I, I'm happy you to. You know what? Tie it. Now, and uh, some sort of backpack, uh, and a walkie-talkie, and a spare tube for someone. Whose is this? Who cares at the moment? So, I'm I'm so happy with that because I, as I said, I've been chasing it, and it was a person selling them on Facebook Marketplace. I guess didn't know how much they could actually get from. I can't believe I managed to. Get you know it. what? Marketplace is good. Yes. But beware. Okay. Because you've got the, uh, you know, eBay, you've got your PayPal and that sort of thing, haven't you? Yeah, I had You to... start sending people money willy-nilly, you get a, yeah. a, a box of uh, sold bandages. I did have to pay them willy-nilly, but as I say, it was it was five quid plus four quid postage packaging. So I, if I lost nine quid, I wasn't going to cry about it. Uh, okay, next packet. Got to be careful with this one. I don't know where things begin and things end, but... Now for this I paid 15 quid, okay? I'm expecting big things. John, I'm lying. <laughs> this, this I paid <clears throat> 15 quid. Okay, so okay. That, well that, is that fine? Yes, because she's worth easily a tenner, he's worth easily seven, she's worth a, probably eight. Right. And these are probably, you know, worth a few quid. So that's, that's a bargain for them. Her, her on her own, John, you can't get her anywhere. Yeah, you're telling me. Especially unboxed, then I like them unboxed. Well, you can play with them. Exactly. In your pants, in the carpet. But when I when you try and get her, you can only get her in, in packets, and it costs you about 25 quid for her in a packet. Yeah, nice. All right. Ooh, it's a longie. Two longies. That's packed. Yeah. Even this I'm was a fiver. Now. This was a fiver. Let's see. <laughs> oh, shit, yeah. A fiver, John. A fiver? Yeah, that's... Uh, well, I haven't seen what you got yet, but I'm, I'm assuming... A... What's that? That wasn't in the picture. That looks like something dug up from Gardener's World. Oh, a lovely little... Yeah. USS okay. Enterprise uh, A. So that's the... Um, that's Kirk's. That's the original, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Which is nice, because I never buy the... Uh, Ship, so it's nice to get the ships. Um, John, what? Oh, what? <laughs> hey, James, what is that? That's a ship. It's a shit. <laughs> shit. <laughs> I don't know how. It... That's uh, some sort of ship. Yeah, yeah, it's a ship, isn't it? I don't know it's how it goes be. together. Oh. Come on, let me see, see if I can get that one. That's the Voyager, is that right? Nope. Okay, it's USSS armpit. It's come apart a bit. I do not it's know delicate. what that is. It's the Reliant. Oh, of course. I wouldn't have been able to tell you that, John, even though I'm a big fan. But I told you it because it's 1864. What? Oh, no, NCC 1864, 2003. Still, lovely little spaceship. More spaceships. That's Voyager. Yes, John, it yes. is Voyager. Uh, yeah. It is Voyager. And it's got a sticky on it. It's like the only wall. Stick. Come hang on. <laughs> it's, like, it's like a Star Trek rimmer. <laughs> Crap stick, send it back. Still. Sorry, I'm moving too fast. It got jerky then. That's okay, don't jerk it. Work it. Okay, okay, nice. Deanna Troy. I was going to say Jane Way. Deanna Troy, um, once they made her wear a uniform because her costume was Fine. too sexy. Really? Um, species 8472 well, bio ship. I told you it was a ship. Yes, so I know, and I thought it was species 8, 8, 8472 <laughs> who are from Star Trek Voyager who are like a big um, issue with the Borg. They're at war with the Borg and Voyager have to team up with the Borg. Now let me, um, you know, put this out there, Jim. You know far more than I do. Voyager yep. was a bit 
harder, wasn't it? It was a bit more gritty. It was a bit... Um, because people are now saying that Andor is now... People complain when Voyager came out. Yep. And now they're saying how adult it is and good in a way. I think uh, Deep Space Nine was grittier than Voyager, I think, I'd okay. say. But so you're calling them lies? What? People <laughs> people complain at every start. Well, I know. Right. Yeah. Each time it comes out. Okay, I have got this figure already. So she's a seller, but still. Yep. She's you a great figure. Well, I can probably use that box again. She's easily worth a few quid, and this is one I've wanted for a while. Ensign Rowe. Yeah, I recognise that that chap. She is a Bajoran? Yep. Right? She came into Star Trek Next Generation. Interesting character. She ran off and joined the Marquis, who are humans who hate Cardassians enough to go to war with them. And she was supposed to come back for Deep Space Nine. When they wrote Deep Space Nine... They wrote her a character, but due to, I think it was scheduling conflict, conflict she couldn't, so they ended up getting... Can I, yeah, step aside, let me see that beautiful collection Major of Major Kira, they got Major Kira oh, instead. Oh, sorry, I'm moving too fast, yeah, apologies, apologies. I mean, look at that. It's coming on the collection, isn't it? It really is. There's beautiful. A down there as well, still. Excuse the mess, and then you've got the old classics. No oh, Star Wars, Wars John. No, no, no. All right. Red Dwarf. Right, and what have we got here? More. What is that? Skateboard. Skateboard. For, for what? I don't know, but I like it. <laughs> yes! That's my best thing. <laughs> that's great. I don't know Excuse why. That snort. Uh, another skateboard. <laughs> like we can have races, John. <laughs> Tony Hawks and Shakes. <laughs> We can have races. Um, now, John, this figure. Here we go. Remember, I paid five pounds for this. Well, I, I haven't forgotten. Now, just pay attention to me for a second, John. Yep. This figure is a special edition. I would say in a packet, she's worth 70 to 100 pounds. You're kidding me. No. Super loose, rare. how I like them. Yeah. Uh, easily 30 quid, maybe 40 even. Seven of nine. Everyone loves her. Special edition. My brother used to go on about her. Oh. Mm. 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 Enough said about that. Yes. But look at that, John. That's a lovely condition figure as well. She's got high heels. Oh, she has. Oh, she has. She's a real lady. Five pounds, John, I paid for this figure. She won't get on a skateboard. Oh, no, no, but she can go next to her, her Borg Campbell. Before and after. She's still got a bit of a... Yeah, she has her Borg implants, which yeah. means she's extra strong and extra fast and extra smart. So look at the stance. She's got a hip wiggle on her. Oh, she has. Shit! Shit! I forgot I had these as well. Five pounds, remember, John? We're still in the five pounds yeah, mark. Yeah. Dr. Beverly Crusher. And I'll live and breathe. In her first contact outfit. This was oh. when they moved to the grey tops. A bit dirty, but that's fine. Give her a wash. I don't know who this is. Who's that? I don't know, John. I saw her in the collection. I... Is she Star Trek? I don't think so. Look at her legs. I mean, I like her. The fabric's nice. I like her. And her hair, look at her hair that flows in the wind. <laughs> I don't know what she is. She's got a bag of women. I know. I know. I reckon uh, I reckon either I bought these from a widow yeah. or a woman who's kicked her husband out and yeah. said, I'm getting rid of all your women toys. <laughs> because, John. Yeah. Huh. Oh, another one. <laughs> Floppy Tapal. Her name is Tapal. She's a Vulcan, she's very floppy. She is. She's from Star Trek Enterprise. Hang on, she she resembles the, uh, the 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 nature and how the other one's been made. No, she's bloody massive. Why am I so big? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And John, shall I tell you how much this one's worth? Go for it. Easily seven, even easily seven, maybe even ten pounds. These are quite rare, the Enterprise figures. Yeah. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. That is a beautiful bit of beef. And there is one more. Yeah, right, okay. 
It's another Enterprise figure. They released all the characters in these spacesuits. Right. Which character do you think this guy bought? Picard. No. Tapal again. Oh, no. She's, She's okay. well, That's fine, because you can put her next to it and change a wardrobe. But again, easily worth maybe seven to eight pounds. I wouldn't sell these, though. These, no. these. Well, that's what you... I mean, this is all a bit pointless saying how much they're worth, because you never sell anything, do you? Yeah, I'm just showing off, aren't yeah, I? Yeah, you don't even have an eBay seller's account. I know, I know. I struggled this morning with that conversation. But look, the helmet clicks on. But he's got two to poles. Again, clearly a pervert. <laughs> I've bought these from. <laughs> clearly. So, I think what we'll do is we'll look at all of them and enjoy it. Yeah. 20 quid. Well done. For, I would... I mean, there must be about... I'd say... 90 to 100 pounds worth of gear here, sold individually. I mean, that's for something else. That's for this. Whatever. All right, set them up and we'll get a last little uh, <sighs> Yeah, well, I love you. Yeah, but I'll just say, I'll just say, All right. thanks for watching the unboxing. There'll be another unboxing in two weeks' time coming, more Star Trek stuff. If you love Star Trek figures like we do, um, you know, let us know. And if anyone can let me know what this is, who she is. She's not Eon Flux, is she in that film? What with? Eon Flux, isn't that with... Uh, Lando Calrissian? <laughs> I can't email, email uh, yeah. your uh, answers I in. love her rubber boots. But yeah, let us know in the comments who you think this is. That would be really helpful. And, um, and please comment, like them and subscribe them and keep watching us on the Renaissance Men. Uh, that's been Rentrek. John, thank you for filming. No problem. And... Uh, May the force be with you. That's not what we no, say. No, you don't. Live long and prosper.